When we did our journey through all 66 books of the Bible in worship, you may recall that I called the section of the Hebrew Bible, that is Isaiah, Jeremiah, and Ezekiel, uh, that's known as the major prophets. And it's not because their message is necessarily more important than the other prophets. It's just that their books are so much longer and they take up a lot more scroll space. But all three of the major prophets, Isaiah, Jeremiah, and Ezekiel, all talk about the imagery of God being like a shepherd. So today I want to share with you from Isaiah chapter 40, uh, which to me is one of the great, great chapters of the entire Bible. I encourage you to read the chapter in its entirety. But in Isaiah chapter 40 and verse 11, it says, He will feed his flock like a shepherd. He will gather the lambs in his arms and carry them in his bosom. He will gently lead the mother sheep. And so this is part of Isaiah 40 verses 1 through 11. It's a passage of comfort. And part of that imagery of comfort um, is again this idea of uh, the God who comes is incredibly grand and awe-inspiring and yet also very compassionate. And this is something that we will hear again uh, in Ezekiel. Uh, we'll hear it in the New Testament, in Romans and in Acts, and even in the book of Revelation, uh, this imagery. So what does it mean? What does it feel like to you, this idea that uh, God will come to redeem and rescue God's people and will feed his flock like a shepherd, be so tender that God will carry lambs in his arms to protect them and hold them close and gently lead the mother sheep. Now, what makes this image in Isaiah 40 so powerful is that if you keep reading uh, in the verses that follow, it talks about just how awesome and beyond our understanding uh, God truly is, the God who created the universe, uh, who stretched out the heavens, uh, that it's this same God who knows every star in the universe, uh, who is the one who knows you and me, the one who leads us gently and compassionately. And so I really encourage you to read all of Isaiah 40 in this magnificent chapter of both God's people being comforted and the majesty of God, who is both a shepherd in his tenderness, but the creator of the entire universe, and how that great and awesome God, uh, the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth, who never faints or grows weary, um, how he knows you personally, and how those of us who wait upon the Lord shall renew our strength. I encourage you, take a read of Isaiah 40.